We wouldn't give you a smoky burnout with a bike that didn't have the metal to back it up, that's just not our style. Suzuki served up a healthy dose of litter bike love in 2012 with a clean, leaner model over the previous year. Stock, the long-term GSX-R1000 fulfilled expectations with noticeably improved acceleration in the mid-range and there when you needed braking capability that left no major street inadequacies. While not as easy to toss around at higher speeds as a CBR 1000 RR or a ZX10 are according to some in the office, the Jixxer is still a sweet canyon ride from the start and one of the more comfortable 1 liter bikes for the street. Once you become acquainted with this bike, the smooth and responsive throttle mix for the raw delivery is easily what makes it a favorite. We covered the basic must-dos in our first round of mods with the Yash Fender Eliminator, Hoppity Smoke Screen and a Zero Gravity Dray Guns Tail Seat, which was arguably one of the best ergonomic improvements we've made to any bike this year. Although Suzuki's effort to improve the OEM exhaust with a switch to a lighter and audibly more aggressive single muffler setup is appreciated, the system was still destined for replacement. With a conservative 157 horsepower rolling off of the rear wheel during our baseline dyno test, we opened up the Jixxer's breathing capabilities with an Akrapovic Evolution titanium exhaust system and a K&N filter inside the airbox. We then went back to the dyno to verify Akrapovic's claim that their high-end system was designed to make power and run properly without the need of remapping. True to their word, the Acro slash K&N Combo was good for a solid 11 horsepower increase followed by another two more from simply pulling the baffle for a respectable 170 horsepower at the wheel. The Leovin's carbon fiber and Kevlar reinforced engine covers add a level of protection over the OEM alternator and clutch cases along with the matching fiber pattern to complement the acro carbon end cap and bracket mount.